What's going on you guys today? We're going to be doing a 20 minute back and traps workout using dumbbells only So for this workout, we're going to be using lightweight dumbbells somewhere between 5 and 30 pounds is what you want to use I'm gonna be using 20 pound dumbbells for this workout Exercise one is going to take you 30 seconds to complete and then you're going to have a 30 second break in between So you're gonna have 30 seconds on 30 seconds off within a minute and then you do that for 20 different exercises and that makes for a 20 minute workout session so you can go ahead and complete more than one round of this workout if you do decide to do more rounds i'd say go for about two rounds in total and take about a minute to two minutes break between each round for the first exercise here you want to start in a standing position complete a shrug and hold for one second while doing that and then lean down into an almost 90 degree angle and complete a side row For our next one here, reverse shrugs, you want to hold the dumbbell behind your back, so just one of them, and then just shrug. So lift with your shoulders and your traps, and hold there for about one second. That squeeze is very important to activate those muscles. You want to lean into an almost 90 degree angle for our next one here, lean in rear flies and just hold the dumbbells together with a hammer grip and flare. Just flare them out wide as much as you can. At exercise number four, we have some paddle rows. For this one, just imagine a paddle motion and just replicate that with the dumbbells. We've got some leaning rear delt fly. So this is different from the leaning rear flies because you have the dumbbells held with your thumbs facing each other. Just the same as the rear flies, you just want to flare them out as wide as you can, flexing your traps and your lower traps in the process.
For our next exercise, we have some simple lean in side row. The technique for this is pretty straightforward. Just lean forward into an almost 90 degree angle and just lift the dumbbells up along your sides, flexing your upper back in the process. Our next one is some more shrugs. So this is great for hitting your traps, but it does hit your front deltoids as well. So make sure you're doing this one and holding for one second, just like the last shrug, every time at the top of your rep. Up next, we've got in X out row. So for this one, you wanna start with the dumbbells in a hammer grip with your body in an almost 90 degree angle and just slightly lift your upper body as you lift the dumbbells out wide, flexing your upper back as well as your lats in the process. This next workout right here is going to involve an A and a B, which just means that after 30 seconds, we're going to switch sides. So for this workout, what you wanna do is hold both dumbbells with a hammer grip in front of your body and just extend one of them as far back as you can, flexing your back in the process. Do that while holding the other one in the other arm and then switch arms and repeat for the other side.
Okay, we're just past halfway right now. Exercise 11, alternating lean and roll plus hold. So for this one, all you have to do is get into an almost 90 degree angle and just make sure that every single time you lift the dumbbells alternately, you want to hold one while you let the other one down. So keep that rhythm going throughout. Our next one here comes with some twist in action. You want to lean forward and hold one dumbbell in front of your body. And all you have to do is mimic a generator pull in action. So almost like you're pulling that cord or that cable that comes in a generator or just about anything that requires pull in action. So make sure you're twisting your lats in the process or your back has to twist as you come up every time. Next up, we've got some hammer X paddle rows. For this one, you want to make sure that you're mimicking a T-bar row action. If you know what that is, if not, just make sure that you bring both dumbbells close to your lower abs section while maintaining contact between them throughout. And that's just for the first part of the hybrid. For the second part, which is the paddle rows, you want to make sure that you're just mimicking a rowing action, like you're paddling a boat. Next up, we've got a hybrid side row. So standing to lean in side rows. You wanna pick one of them and start with it and just alternate between both variations. So stand in side rows to lean in side rows or lean in side rows to stand in side rows. Just make sure every time you roll the dumbbells, you're flexing your back and getting the most out of it.
For this one, you want to start with both dumbbells held in front of your body with a pronated grip and just lift them up. Lift them straight up along the length of your body towards your shoulders so you're flaring your elbows outwards at the same time. Our next one here is going to engage your lower back muscles, RDLX rear delt fly. So all you want to do is hold the dumbbells in front of your body, lean forward till your body is almost at a 90 degree angle. While you're all the way down for the RDLs, then just flare the dumbbells outwards for a rear delt fly. Almost to the finish line here. What we got next is some side row negatives. For this one, all you have to do is lift both dumbbells along your sides, so straight along your sides, and then slowly lower them. So power up, slowly lower them down. That's the rhythm for this one. At number 19, we have some leaning side rows, X rear fly. So lean forward into an almost 90 degree angle and then complete a side row. And after that, also complete a rear fly for one repetition. <music> Let's go ahead and demolish our traps and our upper back with this last one, side row X shrugs. So all you have to do is hold the dumbbell along your sides, lift them up along your sides for the side row aspect and then complete the shrug. So lift with your traps and hold for about a second every time you complete a shrug. Squeezing is very important for those.
that's the last of it. We're done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will see you guys in my next one. It's Midas, and I'm out.